Hey everybody, Scorpion here. So this is gonna be teardown of a baseboard water uh, or water baseboard heating. Uh, just a quick little teardown, show you how to do it in case you didn't know. Heather, that's for you right there. It's the originals. See y'all in a minute. Rock, 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 bottle on the track, boy. All right, so I already started on this. Uh, so basically this is just the, whatever you want to call it, um, from baseboard, baseboard off right there at the floor, the wall. This piece actually came from underneath my cabinets in my kitchen. Um, so all it is is copper pipe. At least this is the old way of doing it. Uh, I think my house was built, eh. Let's see, maybe 60 years ago, something like that. But anyway, the hot water runs through the uh, copper pipe. The copper pipe radiates the heat through it, conducts the heat, however you want to talk about it there, say it. And then the aluminum fins help direct it, help pull the heat from the copper, and gives the air somewhere to move through. So as the fin heats up, hot air automatically rises. So it comes this way. And the cold air goes in and the bottom so you don't need a fan it just does it automatically because of heat rises and as that cold air comes in it heats up and continues to rise because it's heating up so that's how it gave the heat off back then so i'm doing this the old-fashioned way basically i'm just cutting it with 10 snips through here uh and then i switched over here because it was easier to get to but all you're doing is just cutting it all the way down to that copper pipe so you can pull the aluminum, sheet aluminum off, and then you'll have your copper pipe left of which, you know, you'll have number one and number two of. So y'all stay tuned and I'll show you. All right, so basically all I'm doing, and a lot of this stuff, you don't have to have all these big tools. This is just a pair of 10 snips, push into the pipe and cut it. You just want to free it up. It'll actually slide on that pipe but this makes it so you can open it up and slide it off easier. If you're new and you enjoy scrapping, you know, start off the easy way with the cheap stuff. As you make some money and stuff, put it back into it. Buy your sidearm grind or battery powered one or something and you can just zip right down through it with that. In no time, you won't have to spend as much time doing it. Buy you some drills, different items. And I mean, it'll do three or four at a time, so it's not surgery, but basically that's, that's all I'm doing is just cutting that so it comes off that pipe easier. So I'll bring you back once I get it all cut. All right, so y'all can see I made the cut all the way down through it. Then you can just Reach in here and grab a little bit and twist it right off. It is, it's sheet aluminum and it's, it's thin, so it doesn't take much to get it off of there. So you can grab a hold of a big chunk. Just keep grabbing it and pulling it right off of there so you have it off. All right, so this is the sheet aluminum that come off of it. Pretty good little stack there. Doesn't really weigh that much, but just to give you a, a reference point. Um, and this is going to be the number one copper. Nice little handful. And then the joints, I cut the joints off. That's number two copper because it's got the solder joints on it. So you have to remove those. But other than that, that is it. That is one way to turn copper rads into aluminum sheet and number one and number two copper to up how much money you get for it. And that's baseboard heats.
water baseboard heat to be exact. Y'all have a good one.